Hello, my name is Joel Schwartz and I'm on the inside sales team at Gar Tool Company in Alma. And today I'm going to be reading to you Little Critter, Little Red Riding Hood by Mercer Mayer. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, take this basket of goodies to your grandma's house. She is not feeling well and this will cheer her up. I wonder what's in that basket. Ooh, looks like some yummy goods. On the way to Grandma's, Little Red Riding Hood met an old beggar. Could you tell me where this road goes, he asked. Why, it goes to my grandma's house, said Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going there now. Thank you, said the old beggar, who was really wicked wolf in disguise. That's no beggar for sure. Shh. The wicked wolf took a shortcut to get to Grandma's house before Little Red Riding Hood. Then he crawled through an open window. Here comes trouble. Eek! The wicked wolf tied Grandma up with a big rope and hid her away. Then he disguised himself to look just like her and crawled into bed. Where do you think Granny is? She's all tied up in the closet. Hi, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. Why are you hiding under the covers? Oh, boy. Step closer, my child, said the wicked wolf. Even closer. Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear, said the wolf. But Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my sweet, said the wolf. Oh, my, oh, my, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. What a big nose you have. All the better to, sell you, to smell you with, my tasty, said the wolf. Here we go. He's thinking, here's my lunch. Dear, dear me, said Little Red Riding Hood. What big teeth you have, Grandma. All the better to eat you with, my lunch, said the wolf. And he jumped out of bed. Run, run, run. Grrr. Little Red Riding Hood screamed. Then she ran and hid. The wicked wolf took, looked for her all over the house. Don't look at me, Little Red Riding Hood. That was close. Finally, the wolf found Little Red Riding Hood. He was just about to eat her up when the woodcutter, who happened to be passing by, looked in the window. Go get him. The woodcutter chased the wicked wolf away with his big axe. Little Red Riding Hood and the woodcutter looked for Grandma. They found her tied up in the closet and untied her. Then Grandma made hot chocolate and they all ate Little Red Riding Hood's basket of goodies. As for the wicked wolf, he was never heard from again. The end.